Hello everyone, welcome to SFI's Tuesday Tip of the Week. And today we're gonna to talk about dry fire. So let's get to it. So dry fire, why do we do it? One, because it's inexpensive. Two, because it's an easy way to get in the reps that you need uh, to practice fund fundamentals, uh, to practice trigger press and reloads and all sorts of other things that you can do at home, in the privacy, in a room separated from everything else. And you don't have to go out in the weather. You don't have to spend money. Um, dry fires, perfect everyone should be doing it. So when you dry fire, you want to dry fire with a purpose, with a goal, all right? Um, you are going to look at things like your ability to do a slide lock reload, and you want to time that. So you want to time it and then try to beat it so that you get faster, so that you're training with goals. Training just to be training, training just to be doing something without goals, without standards is useless, right? So you can look at your ability to slide lock reload. You can look at your ability to draw and get first round hits on the target. And you look at those times, you use a shot timer and try to get better. And that's why we dry fire, because to do that on range, firing live rounds can get expensive, all right? So I'm going to show you a tool that you can use from G Sight, and then I'm gonna show you some things that you can do while you dry fire. All right, so what we have here is a red laser. This is a device from G Sight. You can download the app, um, they pay uh, the, the app, I believe, is $5.99, and then there are a couple of additions that you can purchase to practice dry fire, and one of those being a shot timer. So you can get this in the, its caliber specific, and you insert this into your chamber. It has a little rubber pad. When the firing pin hits the rubber pad, um, it fires a laser. That laser on the target is picked up by the phone app and registers your hits and tells you where you're hitting. It is a very uh, accurate and useful tool to practice dry fire. Okay, so before we get started, I want to reiterate, when you dry fire, you want to make sure, one, of course, that your weapon is clear you want to remove those rounds until you have a routine and until you have it down packed. Remove those rounds from the room that you're dry firing in so that there are no mistakes. No ammo in the room, uh, there can be no accidents, okay? So, this is a clear weapon, no rounds in the chamber, no magazine, and this is the G Sight uh, laser and that is the rubber firing pin mat where the firing pin hits okay and that's where the laser comes out and basically you just insert that into your chamber laser down release the side and you're set and you're ready to go okay so this is the app I have it set up now on just a continuous uh, register. Uh, it's unlimited. I think it comes with uh, 10 shots. So you do 10 shots and then you reset it and you do 10 shots. You can pay $5.99 to get the unlimited. Then you pay another $5.99 to get the shot timer. Um, and then you can go on and train. Okay. So let me show you what that looks like. The target is set up in, on there. You draw your weapon 
And then when everything is working right, when I press the button, you'll get an audible and a visual signal. And it tells you where you're hitting. Okay, so once you stop, as you can see, there are several round green circles that show you where your point of aim and impact were on that target, right? A very useful tool. So we talked about things that we could practice and setting goals, right? So let's say I wanna practice my draw speed. I'm gonna to come to this unlimited, we're gonna say try again here. We're gonna say start. And then I can practice my draw speed. Okay. So I have a VP9 um, that the trigger has to be reset. Those of you that have double actions, you will continuously be able to pull the trigger. I have to reset every time. So I practice my reps over and over again, practicing those fundamentals, making sure I'm clearing the cover garment, making sure I'm getting a good grip on the weapon, making sure I'm presenting, taking up the slack and getting that side alignment and press, right? I can practice my press outs. Clearing the cover garment, getting a good grip, draw, meeting my hands, touching the trigger, taking up the slack, press, okay, dry fire. You do that 100 times, you do that 20 times a day, and your draw and your fundamentals will improve, okay? Other ways you can use this device, once you make the purchases, There is laser training 10 shots, laser training unlimited, and shot timer. You go into shot timer, it will allow you to go into settings, and then you can tell this that you want to do how many number of sessions, shots per session, time between sessions, session length, and starting time, okay? So we're gonna do five sessions. Or let's keep that down. We'll do three sessions. Shots per session is gonna be one because I have to reset. Time between shots, we're gonna make that two. Length of session, three. Start time, let's try that. Okay, we click start and you'll hear it tell me when to go. Shooter ready. Stand by. So Shooter ready. If it doesn't register, Stand by. it means I'm not meeting the time. So, but you get Stand the drift. By. I haven't set up the time right, which is why it's not registering. But that is a great tool to practice your draw under time. So, dry fire, great tool. Practice daily, practice with a goal, set standards, practice your draw, practice your first round hits with the shot timer, you can practice 
your draw speed with a shot timer. Now, the shot timer on here does not allow you to break it down. So if you have a normal shot timer, you can also use that to, to break those times down if you're going from uh, you know 2.5 seconds to 2.4 to 2.3 so that you speed up gradually. All right, so that's dry fire. It's a great tool. You will improve. It will make you better. Everyone should be doing it. All right. So that's today's content. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe. Please double click on the bell so that you get all of our content. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And we'll see you next time on SFI's Tuesday Tip of the Week. Thank you.